So actually they've organized it very precisely. So they all had a chance initially to introduce themselves. The question was, who are you? And then they have three big questions over the evening. So one, it's about the security in France. One, it's about how they will implement their social model. And the other one is about jobs, because obviously the big questions in France is the unemployment. So then they have three minutes each to answer each question. And so in total, they have only 17 minutes of time of speech. But yeah, it's quite an interesting, it's a unique thing. We've never seen it even in France. It's the first time we have so many candidates at the same time, you know, talking. And are people tuning in to watch it? Is it popular? I think it is, and I think the people were very impressed by, from what I've heard, were very impressed with the last debate, the fifth the, Which the was fifth five candidate. people. Yes, yes, exactly. And I think they thought actually it was quite well, you know, managed, and they all had time to express themselves. So tonight is definitely more of a challenge. Okay, so for people that are tuning in now to the French election as three weeks away, what should they know? Who are the front runners? What to watch for? Well, basically, they have Marine Le Pen, who's very still doing quite well in the polls. You know, she gets 25% of polls. And then in front of her, we always knew that she would probably be doing quite well. And we thought Fillon would be the main front runner with her. But then with all the stories that's been happening and scandals going on around Fillon and his wife, now we have Macron, who is potentially the next big man to be against her but we still have 36 percent of the french people who don't know for who they are going to vote so that's a big question i think french people right now a lot of them are very disappointed by what's happening they are very lost and obviously the left the labor candidate is completely going down the polls now so it's not really any of the main parties might may not be present, you know, obviously and at the second round. What do you round. think it will take for French people to make up their minds if there are so many still undecided? I think people are waiting because they are kind of waiting or expecting maybe another scandal. And I think people are kind of so disappointed right now and so unsure. And also many people still don't dare to open up about their vote for Marine Le Pen because there's still a bit of a stigma. Shy voters, around, as they yes, were called in, around in previous elections, for her, perhaps some more controversial politicians. Yeah. Aline Duffworth, thank you very much. Thank you. Coming up to talk to us about that debate that is taking place right now.